This is one pot harissa chicken with rice. Everything cooks together. I've added chickpeas and cavolo nero. It is simple as you like and so delicious. Let's start by marinating our chicken. So I make the entire marinade in water and pestle because definitely one of my kitchen essentials. I'm gonna take four garlic cloves here. Just gonna bash the skins off. Garlic's in, I'm gonna add to that a nice pinch of sea salt and I'm gonna start crushing. It's gonna help crush the garlic to have the salt in there with it. I love harissa paste. This is my emergency weeknight gift because it's got a whole list of delicious spices that I use all the time and love, but they're already mixed for me. Dump them in, smear it on the chicken and put it in the oven. I'm gonna add some pomegranate molasses. It goes so brilliantly flavor-wise. Um, it's got a lovely acidic tang, but also add some sweetness. It will also add some stickiness to the skin, which of course everyone wants sticky skin, right? I'm also gonna add a smidge of honey to balance and a little bit of red wine vinegar because the acid really helps pull the whole dish together. Just a capful or a tablespoon. Gonna add just the juice of half a lemon. Let's stir all this around. Let's pour this on our chicken thighs. Drizzle with a tiny bit of olive oil and get mixing. These are gonna marinate for about an hour. You can marinate them for up to 12 hours. I wouldn't do it more, but this is the perfect time to marinate in the morning, go to work, come back, assemble the dish, put it in the oven and you've got dinner. So for the rice base, I am making into a complete meal. So I'm gonna add some chickpeas and some cavolo nero before I lay the marinated chicken pieces on top and chuck it in, all in the oven. However, you don't need to do that if you're in a rush. I'm giving you the souped up version here. The important thing is to sweat an onion and add your rice. So let's start with that. Turn on my little gizmo here. Gonna add some olive oil to the pan and I've used the sliced shallot because I love them. Also, sprinkle a little salt on them now. That will help extract the water out of the shallot. We do not want these to caramelize. We just want them to go translucent and maybe a tiny bit brown around the edges, but there is no crispy onion here. This is soft and gentle. While the onions are cooking, I've rinsed my rice. Super important, you have to rinse your rice really, really well. Gets all the starch off it, allows it to cook evenly. That's the short rice lesson. I'm just gonna strip some cavolo nero leaves. It's about 250 grams. This is just gonna add some green. And for those who don't know, the way you strip cavolo nero is you grab it at the top and you literally just pull. The onions need one final stir and you that is as brown as you want them to be, not more than that. We're gonna add our rinsed rice. I'm also going to add a couple of aromatics for fun. I love cardamom pods in my rice, even if I'm just cooking it normally. So I'm going to add in a couple of cardamom pods and a cinnamon stick because basically I put cinnamon in everything. See, look, the rice is beautifully coated in the kind of oniony oil now. Going to add a tin of chickpeas. Got my knife. Let's just quickly trim these. Heat's off. And I'm going to add the cavolo nero and two cups of water. So that was one cup of rice, which is 200 grams of rice. The volume is two to one cups. So as long as your cups are the same size, that'll be right. And all of this water's gonna evaporate. We're also gonna season with a very good pinch of salt because rice needs salt. And we're gonna stir all of this around. We're gonna make sure all the grains are underneath. I know you're gonna think this is mad, but I promise you this works. Okay, last thing we need to do is add our chicken thighs. These are boneless today. I'm gonna to cook them for a half an hour covered and then I'm gonna uncover it for the last 20 minutes. If they had a bone in, I would cook it for 40 minutes and uncover it for 20 minutes. Same for a spatchcock chicken. But I will put all of the different variations of timing in the recipe below. But I do not wanna waste any of this, so I'm gonna just get all of this last bit of marinade and smear it over the top of these thighs. Tuck it all in, everything's submerged ready to go and I'm going to, there we go, pop this in the oven, gonna wash my hands, put the lid on, pop it in the oven. Let's go. Just gonna take the lid off and let everything crisp up. Now we just need to let the chicken brown. And here we have it. Tonight, we are having this with a, my favorite Herbie slaw, which just is super fresh has some crunch and just complements the spices in this dish perfectly. Let's dish up. Look, it's got this amazing, lovely, fluffy rice, crispy chickpeas, crispy skin. I'm serving this with a really fresh herb slaw because I just think they work brilliantly together. And 
the all important tahini drizzle. Look at that. The chicken is so, so juicy. Mmm, delicious.